Hi, my name is Taryn Darby, and I'm an avid engineer, producer, and certified trainer. Today I'm here at Sweetwater Sound, and I'd like to show you the advantages of using Ableton Live with a Pro Tools session. So what I have here is a Pro Tools session that's been rewired with Ableton Live. And as a Pro Tools user, you're very much aware that time is represented from left to right and your tracks are stacked from top to bottom. Well, Ableton Live offers you a unique session view, which I'd like to introduce today, which I find very useful in modern day production. Time is not represented at all. Tracks are listed from the left to the right, and again, with time not being represented, I can work and change different ideas with music production at any given time. The blocks that you see here are what Ableton Live calls clips. A clip can be anything from a musical note, a phrase, or an entire song. What I'd like to do today is show you how Ableton Live can add musical phrases and loops and grooves to your Pro Tools productions. Since it's rewired, the transport controls are synced together from the very beginning. Now I can, in Ableton, change what they call scenes to add different sections to my songs. I can try things out at any given time. Scene three, building up a little bass line. I'll add like a little polysynth thing. Then I get to my breakdown. Now at this point, I have musical phrases for a couple sections of my song, and I like to maybe add maybe a vocal sample or a different part. In order to do that, you can audition loops and grooves in Ableton Live's browser by clicking on them here. When you click on them, they audition the loops in real time. So I'll play my breakdown. Audition a groove. And I like that vocal sample. So what I want to do is I'll drag the vocal sample into a track in Ableton Live, as so. Now that I've chosen my vocal loop for my next section after the breakdown, what I'll do is I'll record it into Pro Tools from the beginning. I arm my tracks in Pro Tools, hit record. This would be my scene two. Moving on to scene three. Moving on to scene four, adding the polysynth. Then the breakdown. Now after the breakdown, I'll trigger my last scene with my vocal sample. So that's how you can rewire an Ableton Live session into a Pro Tools session. Have fun creating, and if you have any additional questions, call your Sweetwater sales engineer.